We are now meeting Janis Rukšans, the breeder from Latvia. Hello. Hello. And we are talking about the, his uh, passion and work and about bulbs and about all the different flowers. My passion always was bulbs just. Sometimes I'm asked why I'm why just bulbs I'm growing, but I think it, it came from childhood when I was um, some 10, 12 years old. Uh, when I when I rise at my interest in gardening, I, I walk it in Latvian local forests and uh, look at for unusual plants. Mm. And maybe just a, a the same plant, not normal plant, but with some unusuality, different color or flower or different shape or so. Is there any favorite plant of yours? Oh, it is not so easy to tell what is favorite plant because they change it. When I was student, my diploma work was breeding of wild tulips, interspecies cross cross between different species, and from that I rise to some twenty maybe oh, more more some 40 50 tulip cultivars and some of them are grown in Holland even now and actually the first uh, tulip cultivar which was internationally registered when I changed the garden to the clay ground I start I enjoyed daffodils how nice are daffodils okay. and then uh, again I started to breed uh -huh. I started to breed the breeding of daffodils and then uh, I started to work with breeding of corridalis Mm -hmm. And they gain more than half of cultivars which are grown in the world are raised by me just. Uh, Swedish botanists even recognizing this name, one corridor is after me, corridor is Ruxansi. So yeah. I have own, own mm, corridalis. Yeah. Uh, actually I found it, I found it in Tajikistan, in mountains on some stone slip. Mm -hmm. And sent to Sweden and they told Janis you found new species. My passion for all the life was crocuses, yeah. Mm -hmm. I start, yeah, when I saw first crocus in gardening school uh, in Bulduri, I fall in love with them and I, then I look at everywhere for crocuses. <laughs> and my first... That love didn't disappear. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't mm. uh, disappear, yeah. In the um, 80s I wrote a book about crocuses in Latvian, of, of course. It was about cultivated forms and cultivars because it was impossible to travel abroad in Soviet time. Mm -hmm. And uh, but my first travels to mountains were just for crocuses to to Carpathian mountains where I looked for native crocuses growing there. After that to Crimea, to Caucasus, and mm -hmm. so to Central Asia. And so I started travels too. But no, at that time I was uh, every one plant which had a bulb was interesting for me. So I okay. look at only I look at the, just for bulbs, everything, if it is bulb, decorative, non-decorative, don't matter, bulb, and it is okay, it is yours. good for me, yeah. <laughs> and uh, at the very end, when I was in the, at the top, it was some more than 5,000 different species grown in collection where at that time it was one of the largest in the world uh, but the crocus collection even now is the largest mm -hmm. in the world there are no no competitors are going every year to some country yes and not to look for new species yeah not only one mm -hmm. once I am uh, earlier I was really going only once a year then started twice a year and now okay. I'm going to, <laughs> up to last year I last year I was four times this year I was three times in mountains okay. no now now must to slow down it okay. is it is not so easy to walk I also, believe that uh, you will tell more about your travels and discoveries in the conference garden style 
that uh, will come in this August in Vilnius. Uh, but now I'd like to ask you one more question about bulbs. Uh, people who are who are in love with bulbs, they sometimes doubt if uh, if to grow them because they don't have time. They are not sure about digging them out, etc. Uh, what would you suggest in that case? Because oh. I know there are some. Uh, bulbs that yeah it is very 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 good solutions can be you can okay. see this bed which is here there is plenty of tulips in it uh -huh. there are plenty of daffodils in it and sm small bulbs a lot what uh, is the secret and they are growing there for 20 years without any digging without any without care nothing without nothing so how for is that? such bulbs as tulips daffodils very important is planting depths. Plant them deep. If you plant very deep, some 30 centimeters deep. 30? Yeah, even 30 centimeters deep. Yeah, they will come out. Mm -hmm. But there is one small secret. If you plant sh bulbs shallowly, they are forming small replacement bulbs and well splitting. So if you want to increase your stock, you plant shallow. Mm -hmm. Then you will get plant one and will get five, six mm -hmm. out and um, you e easy rise up the stock. Yes. But if you want permanent planting for long uh, uh, living, you plant them deep and then bulbs may, are growing large but never splits. Oh. So they which are planted here. They are stay deep in ground. There are tree, uh, apple trees, mm -hmm. the others uh, um, um, plants which takes out the moisture. Mm -hmm. So uh, at level there are bulbs. They are in uh, sub, uh, sufficiently dry. So and as they did increase, they are not over. Um, uh, they not make clumps mm -hmm. which are too large and they so mm -hmm. there are shortage in food and so and uh, they stop flowering. Mm -hmm. No, they planted, they are not splitting, they stay where they are and they beautifully bloom from year to year. And this is about 20 years? Yeah, without yeah, yeah, nothing. without nothing. We do nothing with bulbs there. We are um, naming this bed as bedrooms, windows bed. So what? you so. look to this uh, uh, beautiful flower bed only through the window. Yeah, we look on it from as just snow melts, okay. they bloom snowdrops, then leucoiums, crocuses, follows, follows tulips early, later tulips, daffodils, and then start grow hostas, start grow perennials, <laughs> which cover this bed. And you just do nothing. They, wow, they are dense plant, quite dense planting. <clears throat> they cover and weeds are not coming out too. Yeah. Some weeds of course are, but those you dig out. But there are some um, aquilegia, vinca in bottom, some syringa planted. Now to just 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 will start blooming phloxes, delphiniums, and very late in autumn they will be in autumn asters. Mm -hmm. Aster Nova Belgia, Aster Nova Anglia which blooms and so this bed never is without flowers. Mm -hmm. So as we wake Perfect. up we can look through window. Oh we, we every morning we enjoy. see flowers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah every morning we see so flowers. So in that case you can forget all the classical rules that say that you have to dig a uh, three bulbs uh, yeah. You are right. Yeah, yeah you so are you right. You can forget that. Yeah, you must forget that. Ah. And it was not my my discovery. Actually, mm -hmm. now this, but it was practically used by my wife. It, she just started to do it, mm -hmm. and yeah, it worked perfectly. And other plant which are planted everywhere is corridors. Mm -hmm. They are they are native plants from uh, from our uh, they in country. They bloom early. Mm -hmm. And they are, uh, after uh, selection work done by me, they are much more colors. Mm -hmm. Whites, red, pinks, big color, red, blue, well, all kinds of color. Mm -hmm. And they are one of in this aspect that they are self-sewing. They're perfectly self-sewing. Don't clean too much, don't make too autumn cleaning yeah. <laughs> okay. in garden. Leave it. Uh, the leaves will protect. Uh, protect um, against frost, will protect uh, plants planted there and will protect bulbs. Mm -hmm. 
in spring take off old growths, mm -hmm. but don't touch a much um, a surface of soil. Mm -hmm. There was plenty of seeds, they will germinate and they will bloom. When you plant the bulbs on the nursery bed, mm -hmm. they are monoculture. Yes. And they suddenly immediately start problems. If someone are telling you, uh, no, this never will, is disease, it has no disease, new plant. It is only for some time. Mm -hmm. pass, will pass some years and disease will come. What is the problem? When they are only on the single one in monoculture bed, they are suffering from all pathogens. Mm -hmm. But when they are in the more or less native conditions, there are other plants and plants which uh, are protecting one another. Yes. Well, Janis, thank you very much for our nice talk. Thank you too for inviting me. It was a really pleasure. Thanks for watching this uh, our interview. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. If you like it, just press the like button and we'll meet you in the next video. Thank, Thank you. you.